find an equation for the nth term of the arithmetic sequence with a sub 101 equals 100 and a common difference of 7. Well, to figure out these, this equation for the nth term, I need the first term. So I have the common difference. But my missing, the thing that's missing here is the first term. So how do I figure that out? Well, I do know another term. I know an a sub n. Since I know a sub n or a sub 101, and I know that n is 101 in that case, and I know the common difference, I can solve. So I'm going to first solve for the first term. Then I'll go back and use that first term to develop an equation for the nth term for this sequence. So I have a sub 101 equals 100. And I don't know the first term. I know my n for this term is 101. And I'm going to say minus 1 times the common difference, which is 7. So this gives me 100 equals a sub 1 plus 100 times 7. 100 equals a sub 1 plus 700. Subtract 700 from both sides. It's going to give me negative. Uh, that's going to give me, um, actually, let's see. Um, yeah, that's going to give me negative 600 equals this first term. So just rewriting it in a more standard form. The first term equals negative 600. Now that I know the first term, I go back again and look at that general equation for the nth term. And recall that I'm asked to find an equation, a specific equation, for the nth term for this sequence. And I can do that because I know that the first term is negative 600. And the common difference, d, is equal to 7. So a sub n equals negative 600 plus 7n minus 7. This equals a sub n equals 7n minus 607, just simplifying. So I had to take an extra step here because I wasn't given the first term. But since I was given another term, I could find the first term. And then I went ahead and I used that to find the equation um, for the nth term for this sequence, which is a sub n equals 7n minus 607. This concludes the lesson on arithmetic sequences on educator.com. Thanks for visiting.